Is your smartwatch quietly hurting you? What if the gadget on your wrist meant to improve your health was instead endangering it? Today, we're revealing some disturbing facts about the Apple Watch that can make you rethink your favorite tech tool. Imagine this. You're feeling great browsing through your alerts when suddenly you find an intense red rash developing on your wrist. Imagine waking up at night with a racing mind, unable to stop the anxiety from the constant alerts. These are real events documented by Apple Watch users everywhere. Not just theoretical possibilities. Technology has undoubtedly changed our lives, usually for the better. But are we trading our well-being for the convenience? First, let's start with a silent risk, always present in electronical devices, electromagnetic field radiation or EMF. Your Apple Watch generates low continuous radiation levels. Although long-term exposure raises concerns among some researchers, overall, it is considered safe. Leading EMF researcher Dr. Sarah Thompson of Stanford University notes, while the levels of EMF radiation from smartwatches are low, the constant close contact with the body raises concerns about cumulative exposure over time. Published in the Journal of Environmental Health, her latest research points to a possible connection between extended EMF exposure and a range of health problems from mild annoyances like headaches to more serious concerns. One important finding showed that constant EMF exposure may change brain activity, influencing our cognitive capacity and focus. For people who wear their watch around the clock, even while sleeping, this cumulative impact is quite concerning. But it's not just about unseen waves. Let's discuss something you might see and experience skin reactions. Many Apple Watch users have complained of rashes, itching, and allergic reactions. The reason? Often, it's elements like nickel in the stainless steel and certain bands. Emma, a 32-year-old marketing executive, shared her story. I experienced an ongoing itchy rash after a few weeks of wearing my new Apple Watch. Though I tried several bands, the irritation persisted. It was so bad, I had to stop wearing it entirely. This isn't an isolated incident. Dermatologist Dr. Michael Lee of New York University notes that frequent contact, sweat, and potentially allergic materials can create a perfect storm for skin problems. If you're prone to skin sensitivities, consider using hypoallergenic bands made of silicone or fabric. Dr. Lee advises, these materials are less likely to trigger reactions. Additionally, regularly clean your band and watch to remove sweat and grime that could irritate your skin. Now, let's turn our attention to something less obvious, but still important, your mental health. Designed to keep you connected, the Apple Watch comes at what price? The never-ending storm of notifications and alerts can cause a phenomenon psychologists refer to as notification fatigue. This constant awareness can increase your stress and interfere with your ability to concentrate or relax. Clinical psychologist Dr. Emily Chen, who specializes in tech-related stress, cautions, the pressure to stay updated and respond promptly can create a cycle of stress, making it difficult to disconnect and relax. Published in the Journal of Behavioral Addictions, her studies reveal that this continuous state of awareness might raise cortisol levels, the stress hormone. Long-term high cortisol levels have been linked in studies to negative impacts on your health, including a weakened immune system, higher blood pressure, and sleep disturbances. Speaking of sleep, let's address another irony. People track their sleep using their Apple Watch, but it could be undermining their rest. Sleep specialist Dr. James Wilson 
of the University of California notes, exposure to light from electronic devices can reduce the production of melatonin, a hormone that regulates sleep-wake cycles. Especially disruptive is the blue light screens produce. Even if the light from your Apple Watch is low, it can interfere with your ability to fall asleep and stay asleep when you wear it to bed. The alerts can also disrupt deep, restful sleep phases. Participants who wore smartwatches to bed had a 23% drop in REM sleep, according to a recent study by Dr. Wilson, published in the Journal of Sleep Research. Reduced quality sleep can cause daytime tiredness, worse cognitive performance, and potentially long-term health issues. So, what can we do? It's about striking a balance, not giving up all technology. These helpful tips draw on expert advice. First, reduce your wear time, especially while you sleep. To help your body naturally relax, Dr. Wilson advises taking off your watch at least one hour before bed. He says, consider setting your watch on your nightstand rather than wearing it if you use it for sleep tracking. This allows you to continue to collect data without potentially disturbing your sleep. Second, when you don't need to be connected, turn on airplane mode. This one step will greatly reduce your EMF exposure. When you're not actively using the watch's connectivity features, advises Dr. Thompson, switch to airplane mode. This is especially important while you sleep or when the watch is near sensitive body parts. Third, manage alerts and be mindful of your screen time. Dr. Chen advises adjusting your settings to only receive essential alerts and scheduling downtime to give yourself a break from constant connectivity. She suggests set specific times for checking alerts instead of reacting to everyone immediately. This can help you relax and focus on important tasks. Fourth, schedule tech-free times throughout the day. This can help reduce stress and improve your overall well-being. Dr. Chen advises, start with small breaks, like leaving your watch behind during lunch or while exercising. Gradually increase these tech-free times to develop a healthier relationship with your devices. Fifth, practice good hygiene with your smartwatch. Dr. Lee emphasizes the importance of keeping your bands and watch clean. He advises, wipe your watch daily with a soft, slightly damp cloth. Use mild soap and water for deeper cleaning. If the watch isn't water resistant, be careful not to submerge it. Finally, listen to your body. Don't ignore any unusual symptoms or discomfort you experience. Dr. Lee advises, stop wearing the watch immediately and see a dermatologist if you get a rash or irritation. It's better to be cautious than to risk ongoing skin problems. Remember, it's about using technology mindfully, not letting it control you. These strategies can help you maximize the benefits of your Apple Watch and minimize potential risks. Let's recap what we've learned. We've explored the potential risks from EMF radiation, skin sensitivities, and the psychological effects of always being connected. We've heard real user experiences and insights from experts in various fields. It's now time to apply this knowledge to our own lives. You have control over your well-being. By staying informed and making smart choices about technology use, we can enjoy its benefits without sacrificing our health. Your own body is ultimately the most sophisticated health monitor. Sometimes we just need to stop and listen. In essence, our main points are, one, smartwatches EMF radiation could have cumulative effects on overall health and cognitive capacity. Two, common skin reactions can be reduced with appropriate materials and hygiene. Three, constant connectedness can increase stress and disrupt sleep. Four, 
practical tips like managing notifications, using airplane mode, and limiting wear time help balance the pros and cons of smartwatch use. We would love to hear your thoughts and experiences. Have you encountered any of these issues with your watch? How do you balance well-being with technology? Share your insights in the comments below. Your experiences might help others facing similar challenges. If you found this content useful, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more eye-opening content on the hidden impacts of everyday technology.